difference, the truth is one. And this truth is that Jesus Christ died and shed his blood on the cross to forgive our sins. And dear friends, there is no forgiveness of sin unless we understand what Jesus did, why he had to die. Dear friends, sin is very offensive to God. Why? Because this God that we have is holy and there is no darkness in him. So when we sin, we rebel against him and we side with the father of sin, the father of lies, the enemy, the devil. And every time we deliberately sin, we are submitting ourselves to the devil, to Satan. And that is why we are bankrupt before God. We all start at the same place, guilty. And we need to be forgiven. And the only way we can be forgiven is by, by the blood of Jesus, by what he did himself. Because if we don't need the sacrifice of Jesus, then the forgiveness of God came just because of what we did, our behavior. So it's our credit. We can boast in it. But dear friends, we cannot boast in anything because it is only by mercy that God forgives us. Because He loves us. Because He wants to give us an opportunity to become part of His family. And we need His forgiveness, His sacrifice to be able to be saved. We need Jesus, dear friends. And this is the truth. Now, dear friends, I want to speak about something that sometimes bothers me. Sometimes I see some brothers who speak about Jesus, who are spreading the truth of the cross of Jesus, of the forgiveness that Jesus gives. But for some reason, after a while, they don't want to allow people to speak. For example, if they do videos on YouTube or on Facebook, they don't allow people to comment. And I went through it. I understand why. Some people sometimes will attack us through comments. They will judge us. They will call us wolves. They will think that we are there to uh, advance our own little things or to get money or many things of that type. They will attack you, dear brother. But if you care about some of the people who come and listen to these messages, then you will open up the comment. And I'll tell you why. Because from time to time, you will have that seeking sheep, somebody who is looking for the truth of Jesus. And they would want to ask you a question. They would want to uh, reach out to you. And we live in an age where people don't take time anymore to search for emails. They just want to drop you a comment, ask you a question. And it takes one comment from you, one reply from you, to lead them in the right direction. And it can make all the difference for them in their lives through that answer that you give. They can get closer to the truth of Jesus and the cross. Don't let the garbage of other people's comments prevent you from seeking out that lost sheep, dear friend. So ask, I ask you today to pray to God about that. Don't shut your door of compassion. So what if people attack you? So what if they say false things? And this, this is one of the reasons that I stop comments sometimes before in my life. Because I was afraid that if there are some false things that people say, other people would maybe be lost, get astray because of what they say. But even Paul knew, he knew that sometimes heresies must be in the churches. This is what Paul says in the first book of Corinthians. This is chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 18. For first of all, when you come together in the church, 
I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it, for there must be also heresies among you, so that they, so that they which are approved may be manifest among you. Dear friends, heresies are always there, and people who say false things are there. But we only need to show the truth and battle lies with that truth. And if God is working in the conscience of the people hearing us, He will show them where the truth is. It is not our job. Our job is to say the truth. Among the lies and the errors, we show the light of Jesus. And then He will draw everybody, every person He wants, to Him. It is not our job to delete comments. It's not our job to block people, to not allow people to comment. Our job is to preach the truth of Jesus. I sometimes scroll through comments, and many of the comments that I have seen sometimes are very evil. They are personal attacks, but I learned to ignore them. You know why? I just search for that comment of that person who is looking for the truth. I care about that person. So, dear brother, I ask you, do you care about that person? Do you care about that lost sheep that might find Jesus through your video, through your message, through your reply to them? Do you care about them? Or are you just sitting up there, isolated, on a pedestal, not willing to go down to that level to seek out that lost sheep? Dear friends, if Jesus judged us by um, who we are, by how guilty we were in his eyes, then he would have never come to this world. Jesus left his glory, and he was perfect. And he was willing to come to this world, to this completely dark world, to come seek those he wants to save and restore. He was willing. And are we willing to go through that comment garbage sometimes? To seek out the true sheep who are looking for Jesus? Please pray about this, brother. Don't shut down the comment section or don't shut down your compassion. Seek out the true sheep, the lost sheep that is looking for Jesus. And may God bless you.